Good night, I am Mark Seals. Starting with track and field, a stable facility is what the organizers of the Barbados Secondary Schools Athletic Championships are calling for. The championship, which has been running since 1985, is expected to take place in March with two zones from the 6th to the 9th and then the finals on the 14th, 15th and 16th. Now, the current format of BSAC has been a success for the past three years, but the organizers will be reviewing it after this year. Now, today at a media conference, BSAC's assistant meet director, Andrew Brathwaite, lamented the need for the championships to have a proper facility for the young athletes to progress. These zones have been in place now. This is the third year right? At the end of this third year, we will review those zones and we will seek to reorganize these zones uh, based on the performances of the teams over the three year period. Uh, but this zone of format certainly will take us forward. All we're hoping for is a stadium <laughs> where we can stage the meet in the way that we want to stage it. Uh, so, as a member of the organizing committee, I made that call up front that we really need a facility to bring out the best in the athletes that we are preparing for competition. We know that this is the training ground for the athletes moving to the Carifta stage and other junior meets. And we certainly need the infrastructure in place to allow us to bring out the best in our athletes as we go forward. The meet is expected to have some 1,500 patrons, including students and the general public. The organizers have also put things in place to make sure that the spectators will be secure and safe. This year we'll have one major rule change as far as the track and field is concerned, and it comes in the relays. BSAC's meet co coordinator, Dave Small, was also at Corrigan and Parry today. Satisfying in the relays, as most people know, that instead of a 20 meter zone and a 10 meter acceleration zone, the relay takeover will be one 30 meter zone. So you have 30 meters now, so nobody should be dis get disqualified. 30 whole meters. 30. So coaches can use that to their advantage. However, Unlike the, the old rule, you must start in the takeover zone. So you cannot start outside. So there's not acceleration zone. Barbados Pride now have their eyes on Hampshire. That game is tomorrow after demolishing TNT Red Force in their opening regional Super 50 game last night by 171 runs at Kensington Oval. We reported last night that the Pride had made 278 for nine batting first before taking out the Red Force for a paltry 107. Here is CBC's Sean Green with a look at the TNT innings. Red Force innings now, and after losing Tion Webster in the first over, Amir Jangu was next to go for TNT. Brilliantly caught at slip by Ashley Nurse of the bowling of Kimar Roach for a duck. And after losing Evan Lewis shortly after, Jason Mohammed was next on the list for a departure, caught at the wicket of the bowling of Kimar Roach. Carlos Brathwaite to Nicholas Puran and pulled away through mid-wicket for a rear boundary in the innings. But in the same over, he got his man gobbled up by Suleiman Ben at the slips, in the slips for 12. Skipper Ram then went next, got down the leg side of the bowling of Cummings. He made 18. This is Rashawn Primus cutting and caught a second slip by Nurse of the bowling of Brathwaite. He made a duck. Sunil Narayan with wickets tumbling all around him wasn't intimidated, cutting through the offside for a savage four. Miguel Cummins with a couple of wickets under his belt accounted for Sheldon Cottrell clean bold. Roach from the southern end is sank skyward, pulled into the vacant Greenwich and Hain stand for six. Roach to Narayan wants more and the same result, six more, a bit straighter and flatter this time. But after reaching 51, Ashley Nurse had him caught in the deep to end the innings at 107. Sean Green, CBC Sports. 
Well, as I said, the Pride will now clash with English countyside Hampshire tomorrow at the 3 W Oval. That's at 9 a.m. While the Red Force will try to get their first victory against the CCC Marooners at Kingsley and Oval from 2 p.m. Here's what's going on tomorrow, February 1st. The Regional Super 50 goes into day three here in Barbados with the Pride taking on English side Hampshire at the 3 W Oval from 9 a.m. While the CCC Marooners will play the TNT Red Force at Kingsley and Oval. That day and night game starts at 2 p.m. And in track and field, Eden Lodge, Mount Tabor, St. John Primary and St. Margaret will all have their inter-house sports. That's it for Sports Night. Check us tomorrow for another night of sports. I am Mark Seal. Do have a good night.